this isn't your everyday contractor. Uh, he knocked loudly at the door and sort of stood there, and then the, the UPS driver just happened to deliver a package. Hey, man, how are you? And the UPS guy says hi to the, to the, to the guy, and the guy says hi back. He eventually makes his way back down the street to a parked white Hyundai. Then a different man and a woman enter into Michael Sigmund's backyard. So here we now see the, 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 them breaking the glass in, in the back of the, the, the window. They're using a special tool that I looked up on Amazon, cost about $18 to buy. They clear some of the shattered glass and get into the home. Meanwhile, the white getaway car outside has repositioned several times while the burglars spend about 10 minutes upstairs eventually making off with thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, including an engagement ring and family heirlooms. Very scary. You know, my, my daughter was very afraid to sleep at night and, and still is, you know, and none of us slept the first night. You know, with every little sound, you're like, oh my God, is, are they coming back? Is there something going on, right? So it's a terrible violation of your personal space. Toronto police confirmed they are investigating. However, Sigmund says police told him the case was low priority since no one was injured. The police, we can't count on them to do everything. They just don't have enough power. We as the people need to look out for each other. And otherwise this is just going to spiral, spiral further and further down, right?